Hey guys, what's going on? I am the Freezing Canadian, and in response to my rocket artillery firing guide on Armored Kill, I've decided to make a guide on the AC-130. Now the AC-130, if you are gunning in it, is a giant flying tank. You have a lot of health, a lot of firepower, but you can easily be crushed by just one person on the ground or one good pilot in a heli or a jet. Now let's start off with your roles. As a gunner in the AC-130, you do not simply point and shoot. You are also the defender of the AC-130 and the para drops for your team out of the AC-130, which can be vital to winning a game or losing so close. What I mean by this is, as you'll see throughout this video occasionally, I switch to the AA gun. Surprising, I know. I mean, why would I stop to shoot at a helicopter when I might only get one kill out of it? When I can get three or four just by launching the main shell down on the ground. But, you stay in the air longer, you keep the enemy off you so you can get more kills. Secondly, there are no unlocks for the AC-130. You will have flares if you are a level one noob who just got battlefield and armored kill you will have flares no matter what so you need to use them this AC-130 is so weak to stingers and anti-air rockets anti-air guns to keep these enemies off you and keep you in the sky you need to figure out what button is the freaking flare button now on PS3 it's the L2 button a little different than what it usually is in the jets and the uh, helicopters but that doesn't make a difference you still have the requirement to use them and they keep the enemy off you longer than normal I have been in so many AC-130s where my other uh, gunner doesn't know how to use them so we go down so extremely fast and headshot with the artillery shot right there boom anyway you need both of your gunners using this ability you do not you cannot one man an AC-130 it does not work that way you will get crushed now moving on to firing the AC-130 which can be difficult for new people to the game firing the AC-130 is the equivalent of shooting a bullet straight but having an arc on it since the AC-130 is constantly flying in a giant circular motion around your uh, objective you will notice that your bullets fire in a curve so you want to aim a little to the left of your opponent a little in front a little behind whichever way the AC-130 is going and you do need to realize that this greatly affects your accuracy and how many of them you take to the grave with you so as you can see here my second gunner does not pop his flares in this clip he repeatedly doesn't pop and we get hit by multiple stingers and eventually taking out, taken out. But again, if you simply keep your eye on when a stinger is coming for you, pop your flares, make sure you take out the stationary NGs in their spawn because they have the stingers aimed at you. Be careful of how you fire the AC-130, there is a long reload. And always, always always go in the AA gun to take out an enemy and don't just sit in the freaking 40 millimeter or main cannon. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I am the Freezing Canadian. Peace.